In some ways, of course, Julia Gillard's government is weaker because she has lost that uh, vote she could formally depend, uh, depend upon, and that is Andrew Wilkie's vote. But in other ways, she is stronger because this pokies issue was uh, hurting bitterly the Labor Party. Uh, this was a, a massive campaign run by clubs. It was attacking government MPs personally in many seats in Queensland, New South Wales and Victoria, and some of them key battleground seats like uh, Eden Monero just outside Canberra here. So in some ways, Julia Gillard's government uh, now becomes stronger because she's uh, taken or hopes to take this issue off off the table in the lead up to the next election in 2013. And uh, it also in some ways consolidates her own leadership because now uh, it's another issue which uh, some maybe uh, Labor MPs who were a bit disgruntled about this and worried about their own futures don't have a reason uh, to pin this on Julia Gillard or Andrew Wilkie anymore because she has uh, taken it off the table by delaying it until after the next election. So can you tell us what's been the reaction by the other independents over this backflip? Yes, well, uh, Nick Xenophon, he's an independent senator for uh, for South Australia in the Senate, and he has accused Julia Gillard of backstabbing Andrew Wilkie, a man he says backed Julia Gillard for minority government, of course, after the last election. Now, he's obviously very angry and dismayed by this decision of Julia Gillard's to defer. Uh, however, uh, two other independents in the lower house, Tony Windsor and Rob Oakeshott, who were always fairly lukewarm about Andrew Wilkie's proposal, Proposal. Andrew Wilkie was very fond of saying that uh, they were good men and he was convinced they'd come across the line and support his uh, his uh, scheme for mandatory pre-commitment on poker machines. But uh, it was pretty clear to most other people that Rob Oakeshott and Tony Windsor in country electorates, which have many clubs, were always uh, pretty lukewarm about this idea. Now, both men have been defending Julia Gillard, saying that this was the practical reality of the situation and she had to defer this. And uh, Tony Windsor was defending her earlier on ABC News 24 this morning. The government doesn't have a majority uh, to carry out uh, its agenda. It has to rely on the support of others. And uh, my reading of the tea leaves is on this particular issue, the mandatory pre-commitment issue, uh, it wouldn't have had the numbers uh, in the parliament. That's a pretty level uh, response from Tony Windsor there, Latika. So will this decision hurt the Prime Minister in the, poll, in the polls at all? Well, Whitney, the Prime Minister had uh, two major risks here. One was seeing this uh, reform through and potentially losing some very key and critical seats, uh, particularly along the East Coast, as I spoke about before, or the other, and that was uh, expose herself on the credibility and trustworthiness front, which has already been damaged very badly by the carbon price debate. Now, she's also, uh, it's clear that she's uh, decided that uh, uh, that credibility attack is the lesser of two evils in this instance instance and has gone with that decision. So uh, obviously the, the opposition have been very quick to attack her on that front and uh, Tony Abbott uh, did so almost immediately yesterday. That is a perception that she will have to battle in these next two years, uh, but uh, obviously she's decided that that is the safer uh, option.